Hello. No, that was so awkward. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sky. I go to school at Hunter College. It is on 68th Street on the east side. And I am a studio art major who might minor in either media or philosophy. Je ne sais which one I want to do, but. Going to Hunter as an art student is kind of a little odd just because there's a lot of talk about how it's more focused as a nursing program school or just taking the science fields and stuff like that. But originally, nobody knows this, but Hunter College is actually a school for the arts. It is so great to be an art student in the city because, you know, in New York, there's, there's just art everywhere you turn. Everywhere that you look, there's always going to be a new painting, a mural. There's going to be, like, little graffiti in random spots. And I feel like that's a really good way to feel constantly inspired and to always pull inspiration from your surroundings. Yeah, the art community is actually pretty nice. Uh, it's really, at first, it's really intimidating just because... Everybody here is really advanced and they all have like a really good understanding of their art style, what they want to do with their art and where they want to go. And it's just like, I feel like that's what really brings people together as well because a lot of the times you're like, wow, look at this person's art and then everybody in the room will come look at it and you're all talking about the parts of it that you love or giving them advice on areas that they could use work on or if they're like, hey, what do you think that this needs to be added to it? It's just a really good way of you know, building connections together, with people, yeah. working with people, and getting advice on your work because a lot of the times it's hard to see where you're going with things if you start to lose track of that and you ask someone, hey, what do you see out of this? And if they give you your opinion, I mean, if they give you their opinion, then you could be like, okay, maybe that's not the direction I wanted my work to go in, so how can I work on it in a way that will pull it away from that? Or how can I work on my work in a way that will bring it more towards the understanding that I want to give people of what I'm making. I don't have like a set medium for what I do for art. I'm like pretty fluid in all the fields that I want to pursue, like painting, drawing. I've recently picked up ceramics. I do not touch sculpture. Sculpture is far from me and I will never do that ever in my life because I that's just not for me. That's not it. Um, but yeah, I dabble. I'll be dabbling. I like photography too. Um, yeah. Also, parties. Parties are always Fridays and Saturdays, occasionally Sundays. And I am somebody who is terrible at saying no when my friends are like, hey, this is going on. Do you want to go do this real quick? Or this party's going on. Let's go check it out. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm on that. Let's go. We're outside. We're outside all the time, you know? Um, I feel like it's just really hard because then after spending those hours with my friends where I'm having fun and I'm just trying to forget about my school responsibilities, I'll get home and I'll be like, oh shit, I have a painting to do and I'm not in the mindset to do this painting. Or I have to sit down and really think about what I want to draw. I don't want to give away the details for my painting, but Everybody in the painting is like holding their phones, they're all like recording the scene and like the party and everything that's going on around them, except the two people in the front. The two people in the front, you can see she has her phone in her back pocket and they're kind of more interacting with each other rather than like the crowd and on their phones, they're more living in the moment rather than everything else. I feel like that kind of speaks towards what's going on right now and like like music culture, like concerts and stuff, and just in general with social media kind of taking over everything because I feel like we're at a point right now where everyone's like, oh my God, I got to take a picture of this. I got to record this. I got to post this. Everyone needs to know what I'm doing. Like no one needs to know what you're doing all the time, you know, even it's good to even just take a picture and post it like days later and everyone's like, oh, where were you or where are you? Like actually this happened a few days ago, you know, it's it's good to just keep things for yourself for a little bit and live in it and be like, yeah, this is great.